Okay, welcome back. Like I said in the previous module, cement business is one of the most lucrative and the easiest business anyone can venture into and make good money. A lot of people lack information on how to go about it. That is why I'm making this video for you. With my years of expertise in the industry, I'm putting out this video. So, in the last module, I talk about how you can start either as a distributor or as a retailer. Even most, distribut most distributors that you know of today, they started as a retailer. So it's always better to start from somewhere where you can learn and then grow into becoming big. <clears throat> Even as a retailer or as a distributor, you need to have a business plan for yourself. You need to know that this business, if I go into it, is it favorable in this area? You need to have a, your area of, area of business where you what you have planned for your business yes and you need to have you you don't need to have a capital as a retailer you don't but you need to if you if you have a space or you have a shop for yourself you may need to get the capital because no you need to supply goods in your shop and that requires you paying for that good so i've talked about um distributorship in the last module so i'll, I'll go for that on how to go about the business now with the high increase of real estate going on every day in lagos different real estate companies are being churned out different real estate projects is being happening population is growing there's further increase and um, for the demand of cement there's high increase in demand of cement right now and uh, people are taking advantage of this of this to go into this and um, make good price like I mentioned in the last module, for now, as I went and making this video, a bag of cement cost about 4400 and retail price, especially by the roadside or on the road, by people that are selling by the roadside, they sell nothing less than 4006 or 4007 So imagine you're selling 4 7 that's about 300 naira profit per bag. Now multiply this if you're going to sell about 300 or 600 bags in a week a lot of people in fact some of my customers i have them 600 bags they sell them in two days so let's multiply that that's 300 times 600 that's about um 180 000, right 300 times 600 That's about 180,000. So let me say that customers make 180,000 in two days. So depending on how fast or how, 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 and she doesn't really stay on. Even if you have a shop by the roadside, you don't have to cons confine yourself to only when you make sales from your shop. You can as well go out. You can as well go out, meet people, people that are into construction, tell them about your business. Not even, um, them being in your location doesn't really matter you can go out of your location go out of that your area and get customers convince them if they can buy more and contact you can, as a um, retailer even if you don't have capital you can work as a marketer as well as um, retailer what i mean is that you can have your shop and make sales from there and still do marketing work and make sales what i would advise is that you dedicate a day in a particular week maybe some days or a day in a particular week to do your marketing whereby you go to sites you meet engineers you meet um house owners that are ready to buy product from you and you advertise to them get them to buy from you supply them either from your shop if you don't have up to that in your shop you can contact your distributor the ones you get your goods from they make the supply you make your money so aside from the money you're earning from your shop sales every day you can also earn other income just by marketing to other people aside from the people that comes to your shop so this i would i would highlight some about five five um five tactics that work in this cement business that that has worked for me in the cement business and now you can go about it. So, 
Number one is that, like I said, always dedicate one or two days. One or two days to go into marketing. One or two days to go into marketing to tell people about your business. Always dedicate it. Whichever day is convenient for you, choose that date and go into marketing. Tell people about your business. <coughs> Excuse me. So, and remember, like I said, the competition is high. A lot of people are into this business. Always be competitive with your price. Always give a discount. If there is, if, if they are buying more, it's advisable to give discount. But don't, don't inconvenience yourself. Don't give discounts that you won't even be able to make profit. Always remember, profit is needed. Whatever business you're doing, profit is needed. So always give discounts in such a way that it will be both beneficial for the customer and beneficial for you. Give your customers the best price. Remember that they have options. Remember that you are not the only marketer. Remember that you are not the only retailer. So always give them the best price. Be competitive with your price whenever you are giving it to your customer. Then another point is, is never sell goods on credit. I know that you might have heard this somewhere or some, but cement business requires a lot of capital. Even if you're buying 100 bags, that's about 400 and something thousand. So it's a, it's a capital intensive business. It requires money. Money, if money goes out, money comes in. So don't put yourself in that position whereby you sell your, because you're trying or you're trying to make sales or you're trying to get a customer. You now tend to sell for them on, on credit. Remember, not, remember that not everybody can be trusted. Not everybody can be trusted. Don't put out your goods for sale. Don't put out your goods for sale on credit. It kills business. It kills business. So always remember this too. Avoid giving out your goods on credit. Not everyone can be trusted with money. It could ruin your business. A lot of people have because maybe the relationship they have for, with that person, they tend to leave their goods with them and at the end of the day, they learn their lesson because they never got paid and it could ruin your business, especially for startups if you're just starting. So don't, 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 no matter how convincing the deal is, no matter how, once you're supplying, always collect your money. Don't do credit. Then try as much as possible to meet your customers' demands and expectations. Like a customer wants it delivered here, want to try to satisfy your customer in such a way that they will refer you or they will give you good reviews even after you've made the supply. They will give you good reviews. And such kind of person can always refer you to other people and they will continue to patronize you. So all first impression matters and then not only first impression, lasting impression, always continue, always set that standard. Be be straightforward. Be transparent with your business once they ask you deliver this deliver because at times you might find yourself in a situation whereby building materials now engineers might want to engineers might want to come up with something a deal for you or whatever it, but always be straightforward with your business it will help you in the long run always remain true to your business and always try to satisfy or meet your customers demand and expectation let them know that you know what you're doing and you're good at it and you're the best at it. They will always come back. So another point is, okay, I've mentioned give them good price. Make use of social media. Yes, make use of social media. Okay, in the next module, I'll be talking about how to make use of your social media to get customers. Thank you.